What's up, Schwabi? Hey, sorry, I didn't have the chat pulled up on accident. What's up, Schwabi? How's it going? We're just jamming. This is Future Man. Wave at the camera. Future Man is a friend of mine from Bellingham in Washington, where I'm from. And he happened to be downtown, uh, playing uh, down in Corvallis at uh, Interzone in uh, Corvallis, Oregon. So uh, yeah, I invited him over to do some German. So I was trying to think, I might just need to turn the, I didn't like preamp it or anything. I was just running it straight in. Just, here we go. It's an old, it's an old amp. It's not your fault. It's just, or it's an old bass, I mean. Try playing like a busy riff like you were doing a minute ago. It's better now that you twisted the knob like that. Hmm. Cool. 
That was fun. We can keep going on that one if you want. Looks like we, we have more to go. Yeah, it's just like two minutes. Caitlin wanted to solve it before we kept going. All right, back to the music. <laughs> Good mod. I appreciate, I appreciate that.
it's, it's live composition a little bit. <laughs>
We, uh, I could totally, I think we can hook up. Hello, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I think we can hook up a, uh, All right. We are chilling. My name is Howler Monkey. This is Future Man. And uh, <laughs> we're making some music with guitars and loop machines and the technologies. Uh, we were doing it on speakers for a minute, and I'm thinking we're thinking about switching to headphones because that's going to be a different, different vibe with the mix. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll uh, switch over to, let's see, I'm going to run a beat while I'm well, I'm kind of switching over to, d to headphones here. Let's see. Save that one just because. And yeah, let's go back. Shwobi, by the way, we're talking about uh, moderators and what they are. Yeah. You know what, for Twitch, right, Shwobi? That is a balloon pump. That's that's all it is. All right, don't get any crazy ideas, you sickos. All right, I think we're good with headphones now. 
All right, we're doing a little bit of levels testing between songs. Thanks for bearing with us. Oh, yes, we were talking about Yeshua because he was asking about moderators. And so I was kind of telling him about moderators. And yeah, and Shwobi is also a streamer. And then we can like host each other's channels and stuff. And like he does chess. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. I actually do watch your streams, Shwobi, and, and uh, I enjoy them. They're, they're fun to throw on in the background when I'm w hanging out in the studio. I feel like it's good for my brain. <laughs> To like watch chess moves. I've actually been like really good at people to chess players. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Future Man says he, here. Let me turn on your mic. Oh yeah. Yeah, we have headphones now, so he's. Bad boy up. He's got a mic. Mic check. Yo yo yo. There you go. Yeah, I've been going through a big chess phase lately. Um, my friend Stefan invented a game of chess that is played on a hexagonal, um, hexagonal board. Um, you can lean back, and I'll turn the mic up a little to compensate too. If you cool. Want. Um, so yeah, yeah, so I've been helping him play test or helping them play test the game. Um, they've been inventing it since they were 17. And they've been play testing it now for 25 years. And it's almost finished. <laughs> All right, shout out to Schwobi <laughs> for chess and... Uh, if Future Man had a channel, I'd, I'd do a, a link. But shout out to Future Man for hexagonal chess. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Repping hexagonal chess. Shout out to Stefan Gruber, inventor of hexagonal chess. Yeah, so I've played a chess that was... Um, oh, no, a hexagonal six-sided? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I think I've in Bellingham, I played a game like that once. I bet you it was probably like you know originated with that guy I maybe you, one of his friends or something that's the only place i've played it and that's where that guy's from right so he actually lives in seattle, lives in seattle. or they oh. live in seattle interesting yeah but it was um we had really weird rules we kind of just threw like we were trying to play with like four people at once so it was pretty strange wow all right excellent I think that we were just calling it battle chess, but it was really just like, this is, <laughs> it's like, we were like, we don't want to buy Warhammer figurines was pretty much, I think how we ended up there somehow. You know what I've I mean? played battle chess. Yeah. <laughs> I've played a variation of chess that was basically just trying to be Warhammer, yeah. but it was chess. Yeah. I think at one point we tried to do tape measure and use like inches of squares or something. I don't know. Yeah, the reflection. Yeah, no, I, I painted my uh, acoustic white. All right, let's make some music. So is the bass sound a little better to you? I'm, oh, well, yeah, that's right. We were in the middle of trying to get Man, sure that sounds good. I could use more of it if it's possible. Yeah, but. It, is. it is. Let's get this bass dialed in. Let me throw in, um, I could throw that beat on that we were jamming to. That's weird. Whatever you're twisting is like making a stutter effect. I know. I'm changing the channel. Ooh, spacey. All right, bass, yeah, this would be good for like a bass test.
seen a me caught you video but i'm assuming that i don't it'll make me sad to watch instruments get broken or something or destroyed <laughs> better yeah i'm gonna turn the stream volume down a little because we're turning other things up Yeah. <laughs> let me tune up the guitar. Um, let me tune up the guitar, and then we'll we'll. That was kind of a getting the level set, but since we got that drum beat going, we might as well just play with that. Add some loops over or something. The only thing that about our setup is that I'd like to. Yeah, I have to. There's no quite good way to route it around so that the bass currently anyways so that the bass well there might be yeah i have to figure it out he has to stop playing bass when i go to loop a loop <laughs> which is a little bit it ruins the moment it could it would be cool if both could happen at the same time that's all. <coughs> i think i had figured out a way at some point but yeah i'll have to figure it out because i could maybe run this through a different usb i'm running the the um the looper through the usb to the computer so that's what makes it weird Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'll just guess. I'll just kind of start with the beat, and then you, we can just kind of build off of there. Sounds and then good. I'll just let you know, like, 
think I'm gonna record a loop or I figure we'll, we won't loop the Just bass. Give me the he secret hand signal. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Is that loop? No, that's kind of more like keep going. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. Say. I don't know what loop. I'll give you the like, hey, you know, whatever. You'll know. Yeah. <laughs> You'll know. You'll know. Okay. Good jam, but that was, that was a bad little like beat drop right there. No, that was fun. That was fun, just like a, almost like it's just like a three piece like rock jam, just kind of like you know. Um, nice. Well, let's start a new fresh like loop or beat or something, and then uh, go from there. You want to try playing something cool on the acoustic, or what are you feeling? Would you like to start with an acoustic loop? All right. Well, if we're gonna have. Uh, just for fun, just to start something new, we're going to do 
acoustic this little acoustic guitar that I have we're gonna loop that oh yeah thanks and um, see kind of how that sounded with the loop should be cool did fall over once and the neck is a little loose so it kind of tends it's to kind of a cool effect though yeah it's almost like a whammy bar just uh, hey if you can play with it i don't care like you can play with that effect just don't rip the <laughs> neck off <laughs> just a <laughs> school effect <laughs> So he's just, we're just going to let him go and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of loop from there. So here we go.
Thanks for raiding, bringing people. Appreciate it. It's awesome. He brought seven of his friends. Seven of his viewers. Appreciate it, man. Love when you come by. Been checking out some of your stuff uh, when I'm when I'm not streaming. Right now we're just kind of doing a collaborative loop jam. You know, so yeah. Awesome. Thanks for dropping in.
was actually yeah. really fucking epic, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that was an awesome, yeah, just kind of experimental improv jam with the Fuch. The Fuch. Say hello to Fuch, man, people. Uh, little babies. Yeah. That's babies for, of the internet. Babies <laughs> of the internet. Uh, this is his first time live streaming, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But he is a musician who performs real live shows in real life. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's got a <laughs> an Instagram, um, which I can drop, where you can kind of catch up on stuff. I don't know. What's the most, what's the best, like, relevant link to drop? Probably Instagram. Is it just uh, that's the place that I'm most on the internet? Yeah, what's your handle? Future T Man. Future T Man. Instagram at Future T Man. Uh, so, what's your middle name? Your middle name's T? What's that stand for? Oh, the. Oh, Future the Man. Yeah. I see. Kind of almost like Portugal the Man, but. Honestly, way cooler. Right? I don't know Portugal the man. Good. But Good. I know Wiley Coyote. Wile E. Coyote. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot to put dot com. Sorry. That's cool. Instagram. Is that gone? Probably not. It's super small, though. In Chat Jam, I'm bad at typing. I'm really bad at typing, if I'm not doing streaming. Wow. We can probably keep going. The Mr. T of the future. I dig that. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah. Something like it. So, yeah, give him a follow. You can catch updates. That's how I found out that he was going to be actually in my area, in Corvallis. So, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, we're just jamming here. <coughs> yeah, we can keep. Are you going to keep going? keep going? Yeah, let's do another one. Keep rocking. All right. Um, that was cool. Let's uh, save that. <laughs> In the loop station. And um, move on to the next loop. Sesh. It's a fun little improvised dealio. Just loading it up. Just for the first loop. Sometimes I redo it. Usually I don't mess around too much with that later on. But yeah. All right. Keep rocking. Because yeah, then you need another pass through. That was perfect.
good enough.
like cut it right after that right at that that last riff you played it'll be like cut song done and you'll never know that anything happened past that on the highlight you'll just be like oh that was it he perfectly ended the riff that was incredible yeah that was good i i but then suddenly i was like oh we've been doing this for a long time (laughs) that was a fun little like that's totally uh, that's why i like um jamming with like other people because it's like um totally different vibe than I might have pulled out, uh-huh. you know? And and then most of those loops were yours, so that was, were they all yours? I think they were all yours, Sweet. pretty much. So that was cool, that was much, you know, that's what I like about collaborating in the studio. Yeah, I've never used a looper really to play guitar with, so that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. yeah, never used a looper to play guitar. So yeah, it's kind of fun, because he's looping, he's doing stuff, and then I'm over here like, hitting record and loop and shit. Good times. Awesome. I appreciate everyone hanging out and uh, jumping in, joining in the chat. Also, people are just listening in the background, enjoying the music. Appreciate that, too. Um, Yeah, I don't know. What are you feeling, man? I could take a break. Yeah, we've been going for almost two hours, so I think what we'll do is we'll do uh, we'll do a raid right now. We're gonna raid one of our musical friends that's on uh, Twitch, and uh, so let's pull up the uh, want to pull up the raid station, find out who we're raiding. If anybody has any suggestions, you can always throw them out there. But alas. We will raid someone. Jamming is the closest people get to being psychic. You, f- When you feel the groove so completely, you're on the same wavelength. You know, I feel that. I feel that, bro. What do you think about that, Future Man? Ooh. Yeah, jamming or yeah. making too loud. Right, right. That's a good <laughs> point. That is a good point. You cannot uh, ignore. He said jamming or maybe making sweet love. Uh, I, f- I forgot he wasn't mic'd. Um, can't ignore that, you know, li- that uh, potentiality, we'll say, of psychic activity, <laughs> that realm. But yeah, I'd say as far as just a completely, you know, platonic, it's probably about as close as you get. Um, all right. We are going to raid, so jump on the bandwagon, people. We're raiding Daniel Wayne, also plays music, also playing, I think, every day of the year, usually. Um, so jump on, and then uh, we may come back later, maybe not, but either way, there's always going to be a little bit saved, and uh, you can always check it out on my YouTube. All right, have a good night, guys. Say goodbye, future. Later, everybody. Peace out. To the raid. And when